Good morning, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a midday volcanic update on Wednesday, December 20th, 1137 AM. Now, while I was uploading yesterday's uh, Grand Solar Minimum update, I had taken note of the largest volcanic eruption in years coming off the Kamchatka Peninsula. The data was sketchy, and it was saying that the ash was extending 15 kilometers up to 40,000 feet into the stratosphere. And I did not include it in the update because I knew those numbers were going to be incorrect. And this is because this volcano, where the eruptions are occurring, is in the middle of nowhere. The closest people that can view it are hundreds of miles away. So it was going to take time to get the actual data, and we do have the data. And it is, in fact, the largest eruption going off as we descend into the grand solar minimum since we've been dropping, since cycle 24 started. Now, this is a video of the volcano from about 120 miles away. So you can imagine the scale of this eruption. The stratospheric troposphere boundary is somewhere right here where this plume is extending up into the stratosphere because this volcanic eruption is now confirmed at extending 14 kilometers in the initial blast, which means that only the initial portion of this eruption could cause any global cooling. And because of the small scale, this is just a taste. But now we have multiple large eruptions. This is probably VEI-4. And it is still erupting today, but it has been downgraded. This is Belamiyani on the Kamchatka volcano. It's really an unnamed volcano. It's one of the Earth's most active volcanoes. The current aviation alert is down to orange. It was red yesterday. Now, according to satellite data by KVERT, activity at the volcano has decreased. There is not observing, there are now, there is now observing strong ash emissions from the volcano, but separate ash clouds continue to drift to the north and east from the volcano. KVERT continues to monitor Bezemayani. The gas steam activity on the volcano continues, a danger of strong ash explosions up to 32,000 feet or 10 kilometers remains. Ongoing activity could affect international and low-flying aircraft. So this was a large blast. We'll watch it one more time. Full screen is unavailable. Sorry, guys. And that's is just a taste of what the Kamchatka Peninsula can uh, offer. And that's right here. We're going to come in and I'm going to cover it. There, I'll leave you the Wikipedia to Bezimayani. It's in a field of volcanoes. So here in Volcano Discovery, you can come over and click on the full screen here. Bring over the Kamchatka Peninsula. And then you can zoom out to see where this is on the Earth. I'm doing this for the benefit of everyone who has difficulty navigating these things. Here's Alaska, 